All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Washington State Scholastic Esports Association Overwatch season. This is the winter season, and this is the second week of competition. First week of the regular season. Last week was the first week of the season. It was a preseason game, and we ended up playing against Burlington Edison High School. Funny enough, though, when the season got reshuffled for the regular season, uh, we got matched up against Burlington Edison again. That's just the way it turned out. Um, so this is going to be a bit of a rematch between Lake Stevens and Burlington Edison. Uh, but we do have a different roster showing up today as opposed to last week. So although we're playing against the same team from Burlington Edison today, our team is different. However, it's Lake Stevens Esports. It's a W. It's a W. It always is. Something you may not know um, is that in the fall WSSEA Rocket League 3v3 season, um, our A team had an undefeated regular season and then was knocked out of the playoffs by Burlington Edison. So, uh, you know, it's a different game, different players, but a little, little bit of a, a friendly rivalry between Lake Stevens and Burlington Edison when it comes to um, Rocket League. Um, just like Lake Stevens has got a little bit of a friendly rivalry going with Cedra Woolley when it comes to Smash. Traveling to Horizon Luna Colony. Here we go. Press Y for spectator options. Yep. All right, here we are. Horizon, Lunar Colony. Let's see what our uh, team selection ends up being here. Ready for battle. Lake Stevens is in the blue, and Burlington Edison is in the red. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. Looking forward to seeing this uh, Ash play by Mars. I think even as someone who myself doesn't play a lot of Overwatch, Ash is my favorite, favorite character. Hey. Flapjacks on Zenyatta, Tepeto on Reinhardt, Biggish Hair, Soldier, Love Mark is on that little Roadhog, Akatron on Baptiste. Over here for Burlington Edison. We've got a pretty typical loadout. Shield immediately breaks there. Cassidy able to sneak in there, but he's all by himself for a moment. Almost with the hook, Cassidy goes down. Discord orb on the Genji. And Genji taken down. Let's see what this... Uh, This will do. Ash just sending it down that hallway. Here it comes. Nice shot. Love Mark is down in there now. CC, first kill. First Lake Stevens player dead, but it looks like the pedo goes flying in there. Not sure where all this damage is coming from all of a sudden. One each is down. Big boom by Mars. Pedo, holding the line in there, gets hooked in, throws that shield up, buying some time. There's that CC on Tepedo, able to fall back, gets a bit of a heal. Big heal. Flies in there, yes! A good attempt, definitely a good attempt. Did what he could with the little help he had. Roadhog looking for that hook. 
Oh, come on! Deflected! <laughs> Baptiste with some heals there. Mars down. Let's take a look here at our Roadhog. All right, so Burlington Edison has been able to pull themselves up to the point. And Baptiste goes down, but Genji is down as well. So big damage here by Love Mark. That hook does not connect, unfortunately. Soldier 76 trying to get some damage in here. Roadhog sucking down some health. All right, three Lake Stevens players are down. Four Lake Stevens. It's probably going to be the first point right there. Yeah, five are down now. A good attempt. Hung on for a nice long time. All right, Lake Stevens decides to uh, pull back here to the second point. Burlington and Anderson moving together. What do you guys think of my camera work? Incredible, right? Crunching through that Reinhardt shield. Throwing his own shield up in there. Gets a nice big stun. Nobody really there to be able to do anything with it. Although there is a snag. Grabs the Roadhog. Love Mark. Tucks into the corner. Sucks down some health. Reinhardt comes flying in but misses everybody. CC on Love Mark. Akatron with some heals. All right, looks like that was an ult by uh, Biggish Hair, Soldier. Flapjax has got his ult up. Three ults up for Lake Stevens right now, actually. Love Mark sends his in there, pushing them back into this open room. And Mercy is down. All right, Lake Stevens now pushing into this more open room. An attempted hook by the Burlington Edison Roadhog. That would be uh, Tamaya Mamitin. Did I say that right? All right, our soldier goes down, our ax goes down. Sorry, our ash goes down. A good hook. There's a res, very good. All right, Burlington Edison has moved their way around to the other door now that central door. Two Lake Stevens players down. A lot of damage coming in from their soldier, though. Love Mark hanging on to that point right now, tanking a bunch of damage. All right, there comes the ult from Flapjacks. It's not enough, though. A really good ult by the Roadhog. I can go first person, yeah. I was just trying to mix it up a little bit. Soldier 76 on Burlington Edison. Really strong so far. All right, five Lake Stevens players are down. Like that six. He was hanging on as best as he could, but the second point is about to be lost by the looks of it. There it is. First point goes to Burlington Edison. Felt like a pretty good, pretty good attempt by Lake Stevens. Let's see if we can... Uh, dial up the speed on our side a little bit. Play of the game. Yeah, I felt like their Soldier 76 was definitely putting in some work. Alright, so it looks like we made a mistake. It was not set to... Um, competitive rules so it didn't swap sides so we need to find a way to maybe back out and relaunch then yeah yeah we're gonna go ahead and actually uh, leave the game here we're going to reset up the lobby and they got it done in five minutes and 31 seconds so I'm gonna mark that down just in case that becomes important traveling to horizon Luna Cold. okay Sorry about that, you guys. It has been adjusted. So the issue was for the first game, we accidentally didn't set it up to competitive. 
um, which is the game set where it will, um, you know, automatically have people swap sides after a win or a loss. Um, we didn't set that up on accident. So what we did was we recorded the time that Burlington Edison won that point, 531, um, and then we're doing another casual game back to back. This one also is casual um, because all we did was we changed which side the teams were on. Uh, which teams they were on. So like Stevens is now over here in the red. They are the ones who are on offense and Burlington Edison is in the blue. They are on defense. The only issue is that um, it obviously is not going to automatically calculate the times, but I noted it down myself. They were able to win in five minutes and 31 seconds. So all we have to do is win in less than that or lose in less than that. And that is how we will determine the win. All right, Lake Stevens has got pretty much the same comp as last time, and it looks like Burlington Edison has got pretty much the same comp as last time as well. Genji goes flying in there. Be careful out there. Hello. Hello. Pepeto immediately jumps over to the right side, able to sneak past. Pass them there, dodges the hook, shoves it up the wall. Wait for his team, Roadhog sitting up there. Excellent job, a great charge. Charged right back though, and probably gonna be killed there. Somehow hanging on to Peta with some incredible heals. Pushes it right up the gut, going for that Soldier 76. Genji's in the mix. They are almost to the point now. Oh, an unfortunate charge. Hits the post. Almost got his ult up. He's at 70%. All six Lake Stevens players still alive. Pushing in there, that Discord orb. Boom, big kill by Tepeto. All right, there is the enemy Reinhardt stun. He's able to hang on though. I'm just watching Tepeto right now because he's going ham. All right. Flapjack's on the point. Big, really big for Lake Stevens there. Tepeto's still putting in work up here on the front line. Takes out the heal. Stunned. I don't even think he's died yet. First death, I shouldn't have said anything. Flapjacks with the ult up. That was a really great push by Lake Stevens. We just need to find a way now. To finish it out. Got two ticks. Shuriken's on that Soldier 76. Unfortunate. Pedo waiting for some... Some backup there by the looks of it. Is Mars' his ultimate is up as well. Genji's ult three ults up for Lake Stevens. Genji goes in. Yep. Big ult by Soldier 76. Two dead. Lake Stevens almost able to grab that point, but not yet. Pedo needs the heals. He goes down. Tracer's flying in now. Baptiste is down, Lake Stevens not able to get it. Sixty seconds remaining. Alright, Lake Stevens needs to find a way to get in there. Alright, Tepeto up front. They've got 43 seconds to get in there. Gets hooked. Unfortunate hook, but a good connection there. Discord orb. Big ult! There it is! Slapjacks with the ult. Trying to hold him off that point. Two Lake Stevens players down. Three Burlington Edison players down. 
four, Burlington Edison down. Lake Stevens takes the point. Lake Stevens got to push, 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 push. New defense point. Let's get you healed up. All right, Lake Stevens up in position on here. Tracer going for a flank here. Good connections by Mars. Stevens has got to get in there. Pedo's in. Able to avoid that charge for the most part, but then taken out immediately. Flanked by Tracer. Big heal. That was not good for Lake Stevens. Tracer almost dies to Soldier there. Grabs the heals. Taken out. And I'm not even sure what the time is at this point, but remember, Lake Stevens needs to win in 5 minutes 31 seconds. That time, unfortunately, may have already come and gone. We don't know for sure. We're just going to play it out and see what happens and fix it for next time. Everyone, heal up. Biggest hair misses with the missiles. The Discord orb. Pedo pushing back in. He's got his ult up. Yoink. By the Roadhog. Akatron's got the Lucio ult in there now. Tank is down. Four Burlington Edison down. Five down. Capturing the point now. Six down. All right, now the question is, did Lake Stevens do it in enough time? They may not have done it in enough time. We'll have to wait and see. All right, so Burlington Edison is going to take that first point. Welcome to Oasis. And we have moved on to competitive on Oasis. By the way, guys, how's the audio mix? Do you guys need more game sound? I'm just a little bit nervous that this isn't set to competitive because it didn't say competitive on the top. Ready for battle. Lake Stevens is in the red. Burlington Edison once again is in the blue. Welcome to... Chair moves right in, flanks as soldier. Burlington Edison not moving anybody up here just yet. And Lake Stevens pushes on to the point. Control point unlocks in five seconds, and they have the position that they want. This is that hook. First, Lake, first player is dead, that is Tepeto for Lake Stevens. 
but like Steven's about to grab the point, grabs the point, Roadhog gets yoinked, survives, because that's Roadhog for you. Grabs the hook, pushes it in, beautiful! Did he survive? I think he survived. I must have missed that. All right, Lake Stevens, cruising along with the percentage right now, 18%. Oh, you hate to see it. A good pick. Akatron doing some good damage from up here on the side. So it's biggish hair. But in the meantime, Burlington Edison does grab the point. Lake Stevens, looking to pull back, stick together. The hole has a bottom? Oh, I didn't realize that. Thanks, Crazy. It's been a long time since I played Overwatch. Alright, like Steven's deciding to push up from the side here. Takes a big hit. The Mercy is down. Like Steven might want to consider pushing right now. Gotta be careful here. Yeah. Like Steven's now in on the point. They grabbed it. It's gonna be hard to hang on to it, but they are. Yeah. Did what he could. Alright, here comes Cassidy. A lot of ults up for Lake Stevens right now. Uh oh, watch out for that fan hammer. All right, Tepedo's in there now. He gets stunned. Oh, he's hanging on. Big heels. Not enough. Too dead. All right, one dead for Burlington Edison. There's the healer killed. There's the soldier killed. Geppetto waiting for some support. Burlington Edison's at 89% right now. Like Steven needs to get in on that point. Contesting it. They are now at 97. Mars grabs two with the high noon. There's a third grab. Excellent. Four dead for Burlington Edison. Like Stevens takes the point. Sure as hell ain't ugly. Game is paused. Looks like they may have lost one of their players. Um, let me go ahead and message them really quickly. There they are. Okay, I think we're almost ready. I think they've reconnected. They're not showing up on the UI. Come out and face me. Oh, here we go. Targets in sight. Man, I'm glad that that went so smoothly. I thought that that would be a bigger deal. All right, like Stevens probably wants to think about a way to. Uh, I was gonna say put some pressure on them before they even get to the point. Their Cassidy's hurting already. Big old, big old, it's beautiful! <laughs> oh my god! Big old by Tepedo. He pays, almost pays the price for it, but hangs on to his life somehow. All right, taking that, taking that ult now. Smacking that soldier around, gets stunned. Go over here, see what's going on. Okay, we've got a Reaper in the mix now. 
Like Steven needs to hang on to this point. They're in a tough spot right now. Uh-oh, I think that might be it. Overtime. Like Steven's is at 97%. Can they get anyone in? No, they can't. Step right up. <laughs> All right, first point goes to Burlington Edison. Like Stevens almost comes back there. A beautiful ult by Zepetto. A little bit of a mix here. Biggish Hair swaps out the Soldier for the Reaper. And Akatron swaps as well. We got a Farah for Burlington Edison now. Otherwise, a pretty, pretty much the same uh, comp from Burlington Edison. Five, four, three, two, one, round two, capture the objective. Like Stevens first to push in. Farah up in the air. Farah oh. down, a beautiful shot by Mars. Beautiful hit scan shot by Cassidy. Oh, you hate to see it. Oh my gosh, how did how did our players survive that? Mars suddenly doing some huge work. Pulling back here, yeah, Soldier's gonna get him. Axel grab the heal. Akatron, healing spray up here in the front. Two dead for Burlington Edison. Like Stevens hangs on to this point, 10% in. There's a res for Burlington Edison. All right, looks like Ash has found a little bit of a position up here. Love marks grabbed by that charge. That ult is almost up for Tepeto. He just gotta hang on. Down. Dang, not quite a wipe, but a good a good push for Burlington Edison. They grab the point. Like Stevens puts 43% in before Burlington Edison's able to push them off. I can try and snipe, unfortunately. Pedo goes goes in and is punished for it. Needs to be a little bit more careful than that, I think. Uh-oh. They seem to be losing players. Um, looks like they are playing from their school, and their school Wi-Fi is not super reliable, so hopefully they should just reconnect pretty quickly here. A good initial push by Lake Stevens, able to rack up 43%, but unfortunately, um, once they were pushed off, they lost to Pedo. The tank pushed in a little bit too far before his team was able to get in behind him. And not a lot of um, ult available for Lake Stevens. Four of them are kind of close. Only Tepeto had his up, but he's dead. Looking over on the Burlington Edison side, though, Cyber uh, sol Soldiers already got his up and firing. All right, they have reconnected. All right, it should resume any second now. Oh no, they lost another one. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> All right, hang tight, everyone. Everyone hold. Everybody hold.
Okay, looks like we've started. I think they're gonna play down, uh, play down a man down for a second. Uh, no, actually they've got all six back in. Oh no, this isn't good, you guys. <laughs> a little bit a little bit of Wi-Fi banter. Yeah, they keep losing their ults because of it. Alright. There's no way they're on a hot spot, is there? <laughs> All right, like Stevens pushing in, Capetta losing some health to get into the circle. Uh, it sucks because this is the case, but like Stevens does have a bit of an advantage now because of that. Capetta does not grab that health. The other Reinhardt does though, but he wins somehow. Avoids one of the hammers. He needs the heals. Come on, where are the heals? There they are. Like Stevens needs to get in there. All right, Lake Stevens confessing the point. They've grabbed it. There it is. Lake Stevens cures. Mars, Love Mark, and Flapjack all have their ults up. There's the snag. Perfect. Keeping those tanks down. Lake Stevens slowly chipping away at that percentage, grabbing some kills here and there where they need them. Biggish hair with the ash. Flanks around the side. Going up there for the Cassidy. Almost gets it. Oh, he missed it. I hate to see it. Tepeto hanging there on the point. Flapjack killed, unfortunately. Love Mark heals up. They're trying to get that pesky Cassidy off. Avoids the hook, avoids the dash. Probably gonna die right here, yes. Nice. Gets one kill on the tank. They get the point though. Like Stevens loses one, loses two. That might be it. Burlington Edison churning in there. They're 84% right now. Watching out for that soldier ult. Bunch of it goes into the shield, but they need to get on the point. Burlington Edison's at 94% right now. On the point, on the point, on the point. Gotta contest it. It's contested, just barely. Trying to buy as much time as possible, but a huge, huge ult by Burlington Edison. That's probably gonna be it. A huge ult. Both a uh, McCree, I'm sorry, both a Cassidy and a... Uh, Reinhardt ult just absolutely obliterated the Lake Stevens squad right there. And that is going to be a loss for Lake Stevens. Lake Stevens is going to lose the first game of the regular season to Burlington Edison after beating them in the first week for the preseason. Let's see what Mars gets here to play the game. It's time. That was a big one. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough for the win. There you have it, you guys. First game is a loss to Burlington Edison. So next week, I believe our schedule is already up for who our opponent is next week. Let me go ahead and take a look. Next week, we are up against Kennedy Catholic Overwatch. Kennedy Catholic, one of our rivals, especially when it comes to Rocket League. Lake Stevens Esports, we've got a bunch of stuff going on right now. Um, we have on Tuesdays at four o'clock through Play VS, we're playing League of Legends. On Wednesdays through WSSEA, we're playing Overwatch. Um, on Thursdays through Play VS, we have Madden games that are going on. On Thursdays through HSEL, we have Rocket League games that are going on. 
Um, and then throughout the weeks, we also have uh, Mario Kart 8 time trials, which is not like a set time. It's just something you can repeat throughout the week. And I think today is the first day of Fortnite Fridays. Um, so lots of great stuff to keep your eye on for Lake Stevens High School Esports. The best place to do it, right here, right here on this Twitch channel. Give the, give the channel a follow if you haven't already. You can also check out our YouTube channel, which is LSHS Video Game Club. Um, and you will see the videos from our previous seasons last year that I have had time to edit and upload. They are all over there. Um, Twitter is where I am most active and posting our updates. Um, I don't spend as much time on Instagram, so Twitter is the best place to look for all of our updates for what's going on, for all of the games, for all of the times, for all of that jazz. So, with that, I hope that you guys all have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.